The universe should have erased itself, but something went wrong. At the birth of everything, matter and antimatter were created as perfect twins, identical, balanced, destined to destroy each other. One touch and both vanish in pure energy. By every rule of physics, nothing should remain. But something did. A flaw, a tilt, a cosmic betrayal. Somehow, matter escaped its own extinction, enough to form stars, galaxies, and eventually, you. Scientists call this riddle the matter-antimatter asymmetry, a puzzle so deep that even today, our strongest theories can't solve it. In 1967, physicist Andrei Sakharov proposed the three rules needed to create more matter than antimatter. Rule 1. Baryon number violation. The universe must briefly break its own laws, allowing matter to appear without its mirror twin. Rule 2. CP violation. Matter and antimatter must behave differently, just enough to favor matter. Rule 3. Non-equilibrium. The infant universe must be chaotic, expanding too fast for symmetry to keep up. The standard model contains traces of these effects, but they're tiny. Far too tiny to explain a universe filled with galaxies instead of emptiness. Which means something else happened. Something beyond our known physics. A bold idea emerges. Gravitational baryogenesis. It suggests that the curvature of space-time itself, the rippling fabric of the newborn universe, may have pushed matter and antimatter apart unequally, as if gravity tilted creation, as if the expansion of space quietly violated CPT symmetry, a law once thought unbreakable. If this is true, then matter didn't survive by accident. It survived because the universe wanted structure, wanted stars, wanted life. So the next time you look at the night sky, remember this. Every shining star is evidence of a cosmic imbalance, a whisper from the first second of time, telling us that hidden physics shaped our existence. The universe shouldn't be here, but it is. And that mystery is only beginning.